boy. Freaking right, one-handed. That's awesome. And it's straight too. Those first clips were very noisy for you and I apologize for that. Anyways, Tuesday, beautiful day, about 60 degrees, not a cloud in the sky right now. Uh, it's very comfortable out. I just got that yard all done, blue in the back, then mowed, then trimmed, and then blue the, the trimmings around. So that's done, and that took longer than I thought. It's about 10 after 5. I'm going to run to the bank because I need to do that before they close at 6. And uh, then I'm going to go mow next door to the house that I just mowed. Uh, except I don't have to blow or trim over there, so it'll be really easy just to cut, don't even have to catch the grass. So uh, that is the afternoon, and then the debate tonight from 9 to 10.30 should be good. Right here in the family room with lots of cider, lemonade, and popcorn. Friggin' right. The fuzz. On the way home from the bank, it's about 6 o'clock. According to the iPhone, I have 38 minutes plus the 3, it's before 6. I have 41 minutes before sunset, so I'm going to try to do that yard. I may end up blowing the grass clippings in the dark, I don't know. It's uh, 60 degrees still, it's very nice. Going past uh, the old campus here. Looks like they're keeping things up. Looks good, yards mowed, couple of leaves down, nothing too bad. Um, what else? Quick rant about people driving when they turn, all right? You can't drive a car without turning it, I understand that. Now when you're on a road like this, the speed limit's 35, generally you'll do between 38 and 40 or so, 37 and 40, depending on traffic and weather conditions. Naturally, uh, perfect traffic and weather conditions today, mind you. So they're doing fine, they're going down the hill about 40 miles an hour, and they decide they want to make a left turn. Fine by me, get out of my way. Um, and when you make a left turn, 90 degrees, you have a big intersection, no traffic coming. The need to slow down to sub 10 miles an hour is um, vacant. You don't need to slow down that much. I'm not saying take the turn at 40, but you literally don't need to slow down that much, all right? Um, and that's always been something that bothers me. I'm used to a car that handles very, very well. Uh, the car in question here is a Chrysler Town & Country van which has about the handling characteristics of a shoebox, I would imagine. But still, you know, be efficient. Don't hold other people up. Get where you're going a little quicker. And don't use as much gas having to regain all that speed because you slow down to 10 miles an hour to take a corner, all right? Just a little couple of words of wisdom. Keep that in mind next time you're on the road, boys and girls. All right, six o'clock even, we're home, which means it's time for me to go mow. 38 minutes to dusk, sunset. And my third brake light has been bitching forever. It's got a new bulb in it. This actually started when Colt was here. It uh, came on and said, check brake lights. And at first it took me like 20 minutes to figure it out because those brake lights are fine. It's that one that's acting up. So it's got a new bulb in there. I think there's a problem in the way the bulb is working contact with the socket. It's not the best design. There's a piece of metal in there that just kind of humps up and that's where it's supposed to make uh, connection or make contact. Problem being, I think the new bulb is a little bit shorter so it's not always making that contact. So I may have to replace the socket or weld some piece of metal on the bottom of the bulb. I don't know. I intend to fix it because it's very obnoxious and potentially illegal not having my third brake light work most of the time. Presidential debate this evening, uh, 10 9 to 10.30, I'm taking my ring off, so you're going to get a beautiful view here. I don't like to mow with jewelry on. Um, so 9 to 10.30 is the debate. Definitely going to watch that between President uh, Obama and Governor Romney. Hopefully Mr. Obama does better than he did in the first round if you're rooting for him, or if not, then hopefully Romney can keep up his... Uh, whatever he did that people said was right last time. Uh, maybe we'll talk about that later tonight. Probably not. I'm going to try not to get too involved in politics on the intertubes. Good evening. Mowing is done. It uh, ended up... I ended up finishing about 10 minutes before it got dark, so that's good. Got my money. Uh, just watched the debates. They were very good. Anybody wants to leave any thoughts and comments, please do. Keep in mind, I will not be replying to those uh, at this point in time. Anyways, I came out here, talked to my dad on the phone, and I noticed right in that little black area, a couple legs sticking out. Another one of those big ass spiders, like this big, legs included. So I got my spider spray, and uh, he is now here, <laughs> next to that leaf, uh, very dead, thanks to the spider spray. And I went along this entire wall, um, 
So I'm hoping that remedies those problems. Tons of leaves in here because I left the door open and they all blew in. So now that creates work. I gotta take all this shit out and blow the leaves out. Uh, but other than that, today, I don't even know what day it was. Tuesday, maybe? Yeah, it was Tuesday today. Is done. Tomorrow's Wednesday, another awesome one since I don't have math in the morning. Uh, so it's a 110 to 2 o'clock, which means like 130, 145 day. Freaking rights. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. Nice, nice day to sleep in. It's supposed to be 72 degrees and sunny. So that means more mowing slash hiking slash whatever I want to do because it's going to be nice and I'll have a lot of the day off. So I'm going to go in, excuse me, edit this together and do more emails, what I do best. So looking forward to those debate comments if you want to go ahead and leave those. And I will talk to y'all tomorrow on uh, 674 or whatever it is. Good night. 675. Good night.